Hello guys, welcome to Nourish AI Technologies. My name is Ram Sheikh. In this video, I am going to show you how to write the resource block. Resource is nothing but what exactly you are creating from Terraform that can be called as resource. For example, you can create EC2, S3 bucket, IAM user or any other small file as well. All these are going to be called as resource. So we need to start writing the resource block here in Terraform. So resource. In the resource block, I am going to define I am going to create resource from which cloud? I am creating resource from AWS cloud and the resource is nothing but instance. So to identify the AWS instance, I need to give one name. The name of the block, I am going to give it as one. So this is the block name that is resource block. It is a type of resource. I am going to create AWS resource called as instance and the name of the block is going to be one. This name of the block is user defined. You can change it. But this name, you cannot change it, these labels, okay. Next here, in the resource, we need to provide the inputs. For example, to create the server, what are the mandatory fields we are having, that mandatory fields we need to give. For example, if we talk about AMI, for every server, AMI is going to be the mandatory. So we need to provide the AMI ID. So I'll go to my AWS cloud and I'm going to take the AMI ID here. So simply go to EC2 section take AMI catalogs. Here you are having hundreds of AMIs. You can choose whatever AMI you want up to your choice. So I'm choosing this AMI here. So copy the ID properly and paste it here. After that, to create server, next thing I need to have is instance type. Okay. So I'm going to take T2 micro, which is going to have one CPU. But here you need to understand one small thing. Whenever you are writing Terraform code in HCL language, Okay, so here you need to have space for some words. So whenever you are having space between words, we need to replace the space with underscore that is called as identifier. Okay, it is a basic syntax for HCL. HCL stands for HashiCorp configuration language, which we are going to use to write Terraform code. So once it is done, lastly, if you want to give name, name should be given in the tag section. So go and give tags. So give name of the server will be dev server and here in name and should be capital. So this is the way how exactly we are going to write the resource block. Similarly, for S3, for IAM and even for RDS, everything we are going to see practically in the upcoming videos. Thank you all.